Hello everyone. So welcome to this series of cat question a day in which I discuss a question with you, uh, which is quite uh, based upon the kind of questions that are being asked in cat almost every year. So today again, I've taken a question, but today I've taken it from algebra, an area which we generally hate. This is one of those questions on your screen. So for any positive real number n, n plus 2 into f of n is n times of f of n plus 2. And if f of 1 by f of 2 is 100, then find the value of f of 99 by f of 100. The moment we see something like f of something, we tend to for, uh, no, forget it. Then I see f of 99 by f of 100. We generally do this. But let's try. Always try these questions. These are generally not hard. Because normally students leave such questions. So therefore, they don't give you difficult questions on these concepts. So here it is giving that n plus 2 times of f of n is n times of f of n plus 2. So from here, can I say that f of n plus 2 is equal to n plus 2 by n times of f of n, right? I've just taken this n on the other side. So I can say f of n plus 2 is this. Now f of 1 divided by f of 2 is given. That means there is something about 1 and 2 that we have to use. I am putting n is equal to 1 first. If I put n is equal to 1, I get f of 3 is equal to 3 by 1 times of f of 1, right? Now, if I put n is equal to 2, I'll get uh, then f of 2 as well. So, if I put n is equal to 2, I get f of 4 is equal to 4 by 2 times of f of 2. Then I put n is equal to 3. 3 put karne sa, I get f of 5 which is equal to 5 by 3 times of f of 3. But f of 3 is already 3 by 1 times of f of 1. And similarly, when I use n is equal to 4, I get f of uh, 6 is equal to 6 by 4 times of f of 4, which is already equal to 4 by 2 times of f of 2. The point is I see a, a, a series forming over here. I mean, if I have to calculate f of 7, can I say it would be 7 by 5 into 5 by 3 into 3 by 1 times of f of 1? And if we go on like this, ultimately I'll get an odd numbered function. Just see, here it is moving with odd numbers only. So f99 kya aega? Ab dekhe 5 mein ye 5 tak aya tha, 3 mein it came up to 3, 7 mein it came up to 7. So in 99 it will be like 99 by 97, 97 by 95, 95 by 93, so on and so forth. 5 by 3 into 3 by 1 times of f of 1. They'll keep cancelling out and I see ultimately it would be only 99 by 1 times of f of 1. Right? So what am I getting f of 99 as? It is 99 by 1 times of f of 1. By the same logic, if I do here as well, can I say they will also keep cancelling out and f of 100, it would be equal to 100 divided by ab isme to yahan pe 2 is there jabki initially it was 1 over here so i have 100 by 2 times of f of 2 the question is asking me the ratio of these two and the ratio of these two is equal to the ratio of these two right it is equal to the ratio of these two and f1 divided by f2 it is already given to us as 100 so when this 100 will cancel out with this 100 and this 2 will go above i will have f of 99 by f of 100 as 99 into 2 that is 198 normally these questions take a lot of uh, i would say writing work you have to write you have to make some equations to solve it but normally you will find them easy so it might look a bit difficult because of the kind of work that i've done on the page but you will see ultimately the concept is quite easy so never ever be scared of the questions which are based upon functions they are easy to do so just stay with us for more kind of questions that we are discussing every day and I hope you would like this series and this will be beneficial for you at the exam. Thank you guys and all the very best for the exam.